Parliament House is one of Darwin's most iconic buildings, and John Breers is proud of the role he played managing its construction. It's designed to last a minimum 100 years and withstand natural disasters. So this would be the, one of the most structurally yes. sound buildings in the NT? Yes, yes, one of them definitely is. Now a consulting engineer who inspects buildings, John is increasingly worried about the many poorly designed and constructed apartment blocks around town. And he's decided to sound the alarm. Both sides of the road there are apartment buildings with issues. Um, water ingress being the, the main one. So John, how many buildings would you have inspected? Over 80 buildings. 75 to 80% of them have significant issues. See over there on the right hand side, the black water staining down this outside of that building. And that's a sort of again the indication of the waterproofing has failed and water's been leaking through. Water ingress expert Daniel Hetherington has spent the morning inspecting apartments. I'd say 90% of them so far which I've visited have water ingress issues and most of them are coming from rooftops and also basements. Water gets into the structural steel components of, of slab fixings and, and steel structures and then it starts causing corrosion which starts leading to more structural defects in a building. And the result of inaction can be catastrophic. Miami, Florida 2021, an apartment complex collapses, crushing 98 people. That building in Florida was 40 years old. We don't have many apartment buildings that are that age, but we have some that are 20, 25, and we have some that have significant issues that need to be addressed. Former Strata manager Kelly Freeburn managed around 100 residential blocks in Darwin and says she'd struggled to find an apartment to recommend to a potential buyer. Can I say less than 10%? I'd probably not put a definite number on it, but there's, there's very few that I would walk up to someone and say, yep, I definitely think you should buy that. I've even spoken to some of the new government ministers and they said, yeah, we, we hear what you're saying, John. We know there are problems, but we can't or we don't or whatever reason, we're not doing anything at the moment about it. Fixing buildings with structural defects is one thing. Making sure new blocks are built correctly from the get-go is another. John wants the NT government to establish an independent building commissioner, like in New South Wales and Victoria, to carry out regular visits to construction sites to sign off on work as it happens. And if you're thinking of buying an apartment in Darwin, John says, make sure you do your homework. A, asked to see all the body corporate minutes of meetings for the last five years. Asked to see a copy, access to the building board file. Don't assume you know, just because it's a wonderful view, it's going to be a great place to live in because it could have problems. Check yourself and double check. A flawed system in need of urgent reform. Jack Hislop, ABC News.